go. Uh, so this is the second day now. Uh, yesterday we did most of the stuff in the engine bay, just quickly. I uh, explained I had to get some stuff done inside and I'm sort of just, don't know whether I'm halfway through or a little bit of the way through, but so down here, down here is where the automatic shifter was. Just done did all the bolts there. And actually when I lifted it up, there's the lever that goes to the gearbox. It's just held in by a pin. I was actually able to lift the shifter up and I could pull the pin out here. I thought I'd have to um, crawl under and do that, but I didn't. So just pulled up the carpet. You just pull out, there's a strip and then the carpet unclips under these clips. There's our little guy that we want, and I think that's our wiring. This car has all sorts of different kinds of interior. There's some Louis Vuitton, there's some JZX100, the seat. The dash is brown, but the carpet's gray, meaning it's been changed in the past. So the ECU sits up in there. And then this plug here, don't quite know where it goes, but that goes, we'll find out later, but that goes up somewhere. These two plugs are obviously from the engine. So the gray ones go in the back of the ECU here. So one, is, one that goes in there to the rest of the car. Those go in there to the engine. And then this comes from the engine and goes into this connecting the engine, I presume, to the dash. Okay, now, if we follow this guy along under here, goes up along and over to here. I'm yet to get it undone. But there's also more plugs for the engine to interface with the rest of the car. So I'll get those out. There's one. And there's another one, but I'll get that out later. We've got the ECU out and we pulled the wiring out. So these are the connectors. So those are the ones that connect over there in the side. This is the one that goes to the dash. And then these are the ones that go to the ECU. So we're just heading to <clears throat> Simply Tuning. Brock Leeson, Leeson Engineering, I think is in the same building. He does a T56 TR6060, like a Holden gearbox conversion. He's in the same building as Simply Tuning. Simply Tuning, I think, must do dyno tuning. Uh, when I first sort of collected parts, uh, I went there and I spoke to one of the dudes. Uh, and that's when I found out about uh, not having anything to run the automatic gearbox. Because uh, he said, what are you going to run the gearbox with? Um, one of the things he also said was, um, you might want to get somebody to do the wiring. Somebody like Whitey's Wiring. Um, he has a YouTube channel. Um, look it up. One of their... I think it might be in it. his apprentice has a uh, JZA80 Supra. Um, and I can't quite remember. He's, I think he's gone from non turbo to turbo. Um, and they've got a couple of little sort of tutorials that they've done. So uh, they did one on a fuel pump upgrade, which was quite handy. Um, the pump I've got is a Raceworks, uh, I think it's 380, might be 340 litres per hour. But some people upgrade to a 255, you know, we'll do some, some minor mods or some, uh, like, you know, upping the boost on factory turbos. Uh, Raceworks is a 380, um, or 340, whatever and uh then you've got like a big 460 like a walbro 460 but that's probably more for your 
500 plus or 450 plus probably more like 450 plus horsepower I think the stock injectors are 380 cc a rule of thumb is your horsepower that you're trying to achieve man I look tired all the all the time uh, then 2JZ factory injectors are 440 cc that's a good little upgrade for you know slight mods and a little bit more boost I've gone a Garrett's GT 3076 turbo I'm not looking to get the most horsepower or anything like that I just want you know a nice sort of nice and responsive um, you know I want it to be nice to drive I want it to be quick that'd be fun but you know I'm not I'm not like you know trying to I don't care how much horsepower it's got like I'm not gonna go oh well mine's got 600 horsepower or any of that bullshit yeah so for my setup I got some 840 cc genuine sard injectors I got the injectors for free with a bunch of parts it's probably not best to just chuck some random injectors into an engine whenever you're buying second-hand injectors you should always get them flow tested and cleaned uh, I'm about to found to find out how much that's gonna cost uh, I've heard anywhere from 30 or 40 dollars to there's mobile guys I think that do it for 50 dollars injector but you know I'm pretty stingy so we're gonna try and get it done as cheap as possible just left simply tuning and um, stood there for 10 minutes didn't get served so uh, I mean I get the people are busy but um, the dyno guy just looked at me Hopped in one of the cars, drove it out, walked into another shed, walked back in, then just carried on with his work. So, I don't know, I don't think I'm going back there. Like if he'd said, hey, sorry mate, the guy who you want to see is be right with you, or g'day, won't be long, but you know. nice to be ignored I just called uh, uh, a mechanic and he said that most places are just gonna use a mobile guy anyway um, so I got the number of a mobile guy uh, it started raining so I'm gonna put this Jeep in four-wheel drive it's fucking dangerous the mobile injection guy just called um, so if I take them over to him on the other side of town, uh, they're $40 each. I think if he has to come out, I reckon they're $50 each. I forget the gentleman's name, but I'd asked a couple of guys who I knew who had diesel, uh, diesel LX90s and have put a JZ in them. And again, this guy said, oh, I ended up getting a, a JZX Loom. The Loom in the engine bay uh, on a right hand drive car it comes from the guard or comes from the right hand side so the driver's side and then plugs into fuck I don't even know where it plugs into but that fucking Loom okay it's the one I'm talking about I just had a thought, if you're watching this video and you have some useful information, feel free to put it in the comments because I made this video to help. I didn't make this video to become a YouTube star because I'm fucking shit at it. I mean, look at me. I look half asleep all the time. I drone on. Not very interesting. So this is purely to help somebody put a 1JZ 
into their diesel, you know, fucking X chassis thing. All right. So here's a bunch of wires all over the place. I've just been talking to my mate Chris because he reckons I should go full standalone. And he might be right because that's the JZX plug to go. I think this might be AC. This might be AC, not the dash. And that there is the dash plug, I think. So that plugs into the JZ ECU, which I'll have a look tomorrow and I'll see if it plugs straight in. If that plugs straight in, might be all right. Over here, that plugs into the JZ ECU. Those are, those are the ECU plugs right there for a JZX ECU. JZX90 and JZZ30 sort. All right, so we've had some developments. Let me just... So here we go. Here's the Power FC that I was going to run. It's a standalone uh, that uses the factory JZX wiring. Now I'll show you the issue. Here is the loom. I've got two looms here. So that one is the loom that came with the engine. And that's a random loom that I bought Let's grab this guy. That obviously sits in the engine bay. I'm going to put it backwards just so I can show you what's going on with these plugs. So these plugs here plug into the ECU. These guys here plug in somewhere on the JZX loom. That is your JZX variant of this plug. That's not going to work. This is wrong. So this loom that came with my engine, the engine's supposed to be out of a JZX90, which is this car with a 1JZ. It's the wrong loom. So this, there it says JZX90. Okay. So, that was one issue. So let's grab this other loom. Now, so here's the plugs for the ECU. One issue that I have, this little guy here is broken. I've since discovered you can actually order these. So I could order one of those and replace that plug. So that guy plugs into there. Plugs into there, upside down. That guy goes into there, the rest of the plugs go into there. Uh, all four, and they populate the whole loom. Now these guys here, can they plug in over here? Okay. So, one of these plugs fits, the other one, which goes here, does not. The next issue is, so those, those two are supposed to go there. Don't know where those two go. ECU sits over there, and then this is our connector that goes to there. But again, it doesn't fit. So for this one, we've got connectors that don't fit here, broken ECU plug, and a connector that doesn't fit here. So by no means is this a plug in and play situation. But basically, 
I think I'm just going to get somebody like Whitey's wiring. I'm going to drop off the car and I'm going to get them to wire it because uh, this is definitely beyond my skill level. Um, and I mean, with the help of friends, I could probably work it out. It's just, it's just too much work. But at least you get to see what the differences are. So yeah, there you go.